हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन एंड दिस इज माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इन्वेंट्री मैम सिस्टम एंड आई हैव डेवलप्ड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन पीएचपी एंड माय स्कूल द पीएचपी वर्जन आई एम यूजिंग पीएचपी वर्जन 7 एंड माय स्कूल वर्जन इज 5.6 आल्सो दिस इज अ वेब बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन सो फॉर डेवलपिंग द फ्रंट एंड एप्लीकेशन आई हैव यूज्ड एचटीएमएल सीएसएस जावास्क्रिप्ट सम ऑफ द जेक्वेरी लाइब्रेरी आल्सो आई हैव यूज्ड लाइक फॉर फॉर्म वैलिडेशंस क्रिएटिंग कैलेंडर प्लगइन्स एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स आई हैव यूज्ड द uh jquery plugin right so for software package i have used jam servo for uh, developing it and for running it right because jam servo contains the apache mysql and php right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project inventory management system so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so the project title is inventory management system and it's a php and mysql web based dbms project it's a major project which has two type of login staff and admin so both log both user can log in and their set of operations are different right so once you run this project you will get this home page and this is a static home page there is nothing dynamic on it this is about project and it's also a static page this is a staff login from here a staff will log in and <coughs> he can perform certain operations this is a admin login from here admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations this is a contact us and uh, this is a static contact us page i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page even i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database so let's start with the staff login so the user id is staff and the password is test right once you uh, log in you will get this home page right dashboard page and you can see this is the add order and the stock report and order report right these operations staff can perform you can see the above menu has already changed right because it's rendered according to the session and the role and permission of the users so add order from here staff can add the order create the orders right so once you click on this add order right quantity so it's saying that you have only three stocks available so i am adding one only add to cart so i have added one item into the cart again add order i'm going here right so total stock is available 16 right inventory 16 so i can't add more than 16 product right so five add that right so i have added two items right now so i'm choosing this one so two items so add add to cart right so you can see uh, i have added this order right once you click on the place order right it will ask the customer name contact number email city state full address and total amount is this one right so i'm entering social anything you can enter email at city state full address and make payment right once you made the payment then you can see this is the total records right if you go on the add order details again and if you click on the teddy bear you can see earlier it was 16 now it it's uh, 11 because five you have ordered already right so this is the head order section this is a stock report from here you will be able to see all of the stocks for all of the products right these are the stocks this is the order report all of the order which you have created will be displayed here right you can see all of the orders here right you can see this is the order this is a change password from here you will be able to change your password right and the logout once you click on the logout then have all menu will be changed and he will be able to log in as an admin so once you click on the admin user name is admin and the password is test so you can see admin has a lot of options admin can perform these operations right so let me go through one by one this is add order from here admin can add the order right also same as a staff this is add users from here admin can either add the admin or either he can add the staff right this is the add type from here admin can add the product type add company admin can add the product company and admin can add the product right these are the dynamic drop downs from where and it contains all of the companies which you have added and it contains all of the types which you have added this is a reporting part this is a type report this is a company report right this is a product report right this is a stock report all of the stocks right and this is the order report all of the orders right this is a user reports all of the users which admin has created again the change password and the logout right so 
admin can perform a lot of operations while staff has a limited rights right once you click on the logout then above menu will not be displayed and you will not be able to access the internal pages logout you can see the above menu is not displaying administration menu is not displaying right so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project which uh, we have developed in uh, php and mysql so if you need any enhancement any extra feature inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to our requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much